Well, it's Monday morning. I'm down in my building again, working. Got a fire going to knock a chill off. And it's been a while since I've given an update, so I thought this morning I'd show you where I am. The hood that's on here is on there temporarily. It's a hood that I had and it, when I stored it, was in better condition than that and I didn't cover it up. And I don't know if that will come off or not. But I plan on stripping down and repainting the hood that came on this tractor. I've got the running boards painted and sitting on there. They've, they're not tightened down. But I got the running boards on. The rear fender is bolted down. Seat springs are in place. And I've got my muffler re, redone. Uh, I had the, the factory muffler on the Predator was right into the back of that uh, left side uh, headlight that you're looking at. And that wasn't going to work. So I was, I had a plan as to what I wanted to do with it. And as you're working on old tractors, sometimes things don't go as planned. So, I had to go a different route. Couldn't get the hood up there. Let me show you what I've done. I took and cut the original muffler off. I went and bought a piece of black iron, a 90 degree one inch pipe and a five inch uh, nipple. And then this muffler. And it fits just perfect. Sounds pretty good, too. I wish I could uh, mount the old muffler cover here for aesthetics, but it's probably going to be too much involved. But anyway, I'm still waiting on my decals. I don't have the steering wheel because I don't want to bolt that thing down until I'm, uh, I'm ready for it to be on there permanently. So I got to get a seat. My seat is in pretty bad shape. I hate that too. The rest of the seat is good. It's just that front section there. I like that style seat. It's not the factory. But what can you do? Anyway, it's a short update this Monday morning. I hope to uh, make some more progress, get my decals in soon, and be able to get this thing out and ride it around the yard. My next step is the rear wheels. I've got the inside of them primed. Got both of them sanded down and primed. Now I've got to sand down the outside and prime those and then paint them white. I'm thinking about making me a new set of uh, concrete wheel weights and I may take an old wheel like this that's all messed up anyway and do a video on making the wheel weights the way I make them. And then I'm going to, once I get these wheels painted and they cure good, get the tires mounted back on them and fluid fill them. And I did how I did that in one of the videos on the Suburban that I restored. Anyway, that's all I've got this Monday morning. I hope you all have a good day and hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.